Look how big the sand dunes are <laughs> and then the wind is hitting us like 90 degrees. Pop! Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 72 on our around the world trip. So we are here camping right in front of the ocean in the small town of Akfenir. I'll just show you around. So here's our little camp with Bumblebee and here is the Atlantic Ocean and the Akfenir town beach. It's pretty cool. We asked the local gendarmery if we could camp here. Uh, that's the police station and they are just over there. And I don't know if you can see, but there's also a cyclist called David that we met yesterday. And he's camped his tent just over there. And he asked at the police station as well. And they said he could camp just behind. So that's really cool here. It was a really cool wild camp last night. So I had a really good night because I'm always sleeping with earplugs and with a sleeping mask. And also the temperature was really nice. So I could cuddle into my sleeping bag a little bit because sometimes it was a little bit too cold. Oh, this is so, so nice. <laughs> Finally to feel like a little bit too cold. <laughs> But there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of noises and things. There was like some cats visiting the tent during the night, and I think at 5 a.m. the uh, call to prayer in the mosque behind us uh, that was going on at around five in the morning as well. So um, yeah, it was okay. It was all right. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. Okay, so this time we're not even on the main map of Morocco anymore. We are here on the Western Sahara map at the very very top just around here at Sidi Akfenir and we are going to be making our way down the coast down 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 through Tarfaya through Layoun all the way down if we can make it to Bujdor. So Bujdor might be a little bit of a stretch at 238 miles but it is pretty much just one road down the coast so We'll get started, we'll see how far we can make it, and if not, we'll just find a different spot beforehand. So yes, it is 235 miles, which is about 375 kilometers. It's a very long way to go, so better hit the road, let's go. Time to hit the road, Woo! <laughs> Oh yes, look at this one. Do you want to swap? Should we do it? <laughs> Uh, I go I, the you're into I'm probably dying in a motorbike, but I'll give it a go, yeah. <laughs> Off he goes. Brave David. Cycling down to Senegal. So when you see someone actually cycling down to Senegal. Pretty crazy. That is crazy. Ooh. First stop, petrol station. Gotta feed the beast with fuel. All right, ready? Yes. Nice. Bye bye, Daggy. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Chased by a dog in the morning. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I think that is us. Leaving Akfadir and hitting the road south. Bye bye, friendly town. <laughs> yeah, a lot of nice, friendly people we have met yesterday. Yeah, everybody was down the beach yesterday having fun. There were families coming down, there were kids all around. Everybody was coming over. We took some pictures with some people. They were all coming over to say hi. Yeah, it was um, a really nice atmosphere in that town, actually. Really, really nice. 22 degrees at the moment. It's a little bit um, chilly. <laughs> <laughs> 
a little bit on the fresh side this morning <laughs> but it's a welcome freshness isn't it it's like yes. a, it's a it's a nice freshness yes it's yes. like we can just ride we're not getting sweaty it's just oh it's just nice it was really cool because David from Ireland was camping in the same place as us so we had a coffee with him this morning and a chat last night uh, so that's really nice to see other people as crazy as us making their way down the coast yeah it's always nice to share experiences with other people who are doing the same thing because sometimes you're questioning oh is this what I'm doing like safe or is this what I'm doing uh, like right and and you see, oh man, he's just cycling it. Oh, easy what we're doing <laughs> <laughs> compared to what his mission is. Just over there on the right side of us, that is the Knefis National Park. And it's pretty much a massive area of sand dunes. We can't see it too well from here. And there's also sand dunes on the other side of us as well. Whoa. They are huge, absolutely huge. Wow. And I think, yeah even ahead there are some sand dunes yeah so i believe the knefis national park is a sort of uh centered around an estuary area and is an important place for um for bird life so that's really nice to see that they've got a national park here with all the sand it's really not a place that we can actually visit yeah but i think bumblebee wouldn't like that <laughs> no 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 we had a, quite a lot of trouble in mozuga with the sand So uh, I think we'll stick to the highway and we can just observe the dunes from here. Yeah, it's still an epic area just to drive through like that. It's really, really cool. the wind has really started up again it's super super strong coming from the coast the wind has gone crazy yeah totally crazy oh my god yeah I have to drive so much slower because we're just being battered from the side yeah it's not very very nice no that is gonna be again the biggest challenge for today I think it's just gonna be keeping a straight line on the road yeah whilst that wind is just smashing us yeah Jesus you can see as well the sand blowing across the road and there is actually a little bit of sand in the road there wow so we're gonna have to stay really really vigilant to make sure that we don't smash into these sand pits yeah look another bit of sand there yeah and there's so much sand blowing across the road right now wow look at that wow. that's insane wow yeah it must be a constant battle to just for the government to stop the sand from just engulfing the entire road look at that the highway is running right next to the ocean again so that's really cool to have that ocean view right next to us even if sometimes it's a little bit close look at that oh my god <laughs> whoa very close very close yeah. jesus no, i mean that doesn't look like it's going to last that much longer before parts of the cliff start falling out and parts of the road start going with it yeah pretty crazy
So we just went past Tarfaya and now the wind is behind us. So at 60 miles an hour I can put my hand out and I can barely feel the wind resistance. It's unbelievable because the wind is literally going the same speed as we are right now. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. It feels so good. It's crazy. It's, it feels like we're not moving. Yeah, it's brilliant. I like it. Yeah, I don't know if it's if, if this is the reason that they built this road here a little bit more inland, that you actually go kind of with the wind. <laughs> but if, yeah. if this is the reason, then that's really clever yeah. and really yeah. cool. Okay, after a whole lot of desert, a whole lot of nothing, we've reached Layoon. Yeah, look how green it is here. Yeah. <laughs> at the entry of the city wow that's a really big place here hey oh yeah oh yeah Lion is a is a city and there aren't that many in Western Sahara it looks really pink down there yeah I guess there's uh, bacteria in the water and look it's just sitting there stagnating so look it's gone all it's gone all pink <laughs> nice that looks beautiful <laughs> Wow, here's a McDonald's. It's like... <laughs> it's like the first McDonald's since Tangier. I think literally since Tangier, the first one we've seen. Yeah. Well, look at this place. Wow. Honestly, it just looks like full of military people. Crazy. Whoa. And look, there's a water fountain in the desert. Look at that. Nice. Look how fresh that looks with some fresh grass as well. <laughs> Oh my god, I just want to jump in there, hey. Oh my god. <laughs> We're just going to stop for a little break here in town, grab some water, before continuing our journey out into the desert. <laughs> What's that? Somebody just said hi. Are, they, are the oh. police saying hi? Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe stop here. Or do they want to say something to us? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> ah that is so funny we were just like stopped by the police but he literally came up to us and he was like you are you guys are on tiktok no and we were like yeah we we have a tiktok and he was like oh i love your tiktok you're famous here oh i just wanted to come and meet you and he shook our hand he gave us a hug he was like oh you're very welcome i'm at your service here and this was the police that's so cool like, I thought we were being stopped because we, I did some sort of traffic violation or something. But no, he just wanted to say he was a big fan. Take a picture together. That's beautiful. Ah, oh, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> so we just stopped for a, a nice little refresher here in Layoun. Look at this center here. This is like, it's a proper city here. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Yeah, palms and grass and yeah, it's crazy. A little garden here on the side. Wow. Yeah, it's very green here. And look at this massive square here. Whoa. Yeah, here's definitely something going on in the town. <laughs> yeah. So we're just going to top up our petrol because we were told that here is super cheap fuel. Look. 14.9 dirham per litre compared to 18 dirham or 19 dirham per litre further up the coast so it's worth topping up Salam Salam Cool Let's do some more miles, eh? Yeah Hello, bonjour Bonjour, ça va? Ça va? Uh, English, uh, Alemania. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your destination? We are going to Burjdor. Burjdor. Yeah. Uh, welcome in Morocco. Ah, Merci shukran. beaucoup. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank shukran. You. Look at the sand here on the side of the road. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Look at that! I mean, we have massive sand dunes just Whoa. <laughs> next to us. Oh my god, we literally just left the city and immediately it's like, oh, welcome to the desert. Oh my god, this bit is crazy, look at this. Wow. 
we're 90 degrees from the coast at the moment facing the coast so the sand is just being blown across oh my god oh my god that's absolutely insane whoa whoa that is some really strong wind now oh my god oh my god i'm really having to lean against this now Look at this truck, it's like almost tipping the truck over. Wow. That's quite scary, eh? Hey? Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. No, no. Oh. This is just insane. Look, the massive amount of sand just next to us. Oh this my really out of this world I mean look how big the sand dunes are <laughs> they've already taken over half of our lane oh my god and then the wind is hitting us like 90 degrees Pam! wow insane <laughs> what a ride The road is looping south now. Wow, I've never experienced wind like that before. <gasps> oh my god, this was insane! Whew. Okay, oh. that's a bit less extreme here now. We've turned the corner. Oh my god, Whew. that was um, one of the craziest bits of road I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh man. Oh, what an experience, hey? <laughs> So we've done really well so far. We've done 153 miles of our day. It's currently 2 in the afternoon and we've got 90 miles left to reach Bouchdor. So it looks like we are going to make it to Bouchdor in the end, which I think will be our longest day of the trip so far. So I think we've done pretty well. At the moment it feels very peaceful and calm. You can just see how the sand is moving across the road, which is quite hypnotizing. Yeah, and it's crazy to think that that sand is heading that direction. And in that direction, there is the Sahara Desert, just the whole of the Sahara Desert. I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of miles of, of desert lies that way of us which is to me is just absolutely insane we're just on this narrow strip of road between the vastness of the ocean and the vastness of the Sahara that's just crazy we're just poodling along making our way crossing the whole of it unbelievable Constantly blowing, 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 sand, sand, sand. Yes. So, 
we just have to stand here on our break and uh, that's about it. Quick eating and then we put the helmets back on. <laughs> so 40 miles to go to reach Bujdor and then we'll be done for the day. <laughs> so finally, after 240 miles of windy and sandy desert, here it is, Bujdor, our destination for today. We have actually arrived. That is unbelievable. Man, that was a ride. Okay, we got a police checkpoint. Oh, look, there's an ostrich. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Ça va? Ça va? Passport? Mm -hmm. C'est ça? You have two big ostriches. Just decoration. No, no, no ostrich wild. No, disappointing. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Merci. Suzuki. Suzuki Vistrom. It's a powerful. It's good. Uh, what? It's a really good bike. Yeah, it's a good bike. Yeah, it's a cheap bike. Not BM. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no. It's just cheap. Yeah. Whoa, look at these ostriches. <laughs> That's funny. That's cool. He said cheap bike. He huh? said, oh, Suzuki, oh, cheap bike. <laughs> cheap bike, no BMW? No, no, no. <laughs> Unfortunately not. <laughs> no, no, we love, uh, we love this bike. My, I love Bumblebee. It's the best bike. So uh, we've got a camping place in mind um, that we found on iOverlander. We're just going to pitch up the tent and just relax because 240 miles is by far our longest day and uh, yeah we're going to need a good rest after this. I really like all these curved street lights. Yeah it's pretty. It does look really really cool actually. Yeah 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 it looks like a big place here actually wow. Yeah and quite a well kept main street as well. It looks yeah. like Quite a nice place. Yeah, it Quite does. a lot of cafes and restaurants and places. Yeah. Nice apartment blocks. Yeah, I like the place. I thought they were camper vans, but yeah, they're not. They're not. Oh, that's funny. Is this a campsite? Yeah, it is. I don't I know if it is. All right, well, I'll uh, see if anybody's around. Yeah, let's check it out, hey? Let's check it out. Okay, so we spoke to the guy who's here and he said we can pitch up anywhere we like 65 dirham, so 6 euro 50 It's really not a bad price So we've decided we're going to shelter ourselves behind the toilet block in front So let's uh, drive over there Here we go. There we go. Ah, très bien. So this is the spot where we're going to pitch our tent on this nice flat tile area. There we go. Toilet block just behind. Not bad, hey? Yeah, you got a wall around for shelter from the wind. Yeah, cool. Let's set up. Good evening, guys. We made it happy and alive. <laughs> yes, we've arrived in Bujdor after the longest ride of our trip so far. We did about 244 miles, which is 393 kilometers. Pretty crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yes. It's nearly 400 Ks. Yes. Wow. And it was really crazy right as well. Like the first half of our day, it was just windy, windy, windy. Then there was crazy sand on the road. It was really scary. <laughs> yeah, we were really out there in the harsh conditions of the in between the Atlantic and the Sahara. And it was just like... Yes. 
everything going crazy today. But the second half was really nice because we we were like one with the wind. Yeah, you know? yeah. The pushing wind, us from behind. It was like <sighs> yeah, the wind was supporting us, but at the same time we could really feel that there was no wind around. So we were like one with the wind. So that was a super crazy experience. Yeah, yeah. It was a crazy day, but we pushed through and we made it all the way here to Bujdor. But this place is crazy because up until 2019, this place was, you know, bustling with a lot of people here and a lot of things going on. They have like a football field or a basketball slash football field. They have like a car washing area. They have like everything you need. But in 2019, everything here just stopped. So they have like nine or 10 French cars just sitting over there that where the guys literally had to evacuate and leave and they pretty much just left their cars behind and they've been sitting here for the last like three years pretty much just rusting away and it's quite crazy to see that everything in this whole campsite is just has just rusted away over the last three years the sand is claiming pretty much the whole campsite again so everything is just it's just becoming a desert again it's uh it's crazy how much you can change in three years mm -hmm. yeah so that's it for today we hope you enjoyed the episode if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel comments below we will see you next time